tonight. We have a special shear. Mesai Mutal Lefanov Nagoyen Rebchaim Zecher Tzadik Vekodesh Livroho We are limited to the time and we will try in the limited time we have to learn up who is this giant and what are we in the process of losing. The Gemara in Menachas and in Baba Basra state in the Gemara Shmoine Psukim Shebetayra the final last eight psukim in the Torah, Yehoshua Kosvon, Yehoshua wrote them. The Tony, Vayomos Shom Moshe Eved Hashem, Efsher Moshe Chai, Vekosav Vayomos Shom Moshe, Elo Adkan, Shtetn Gmor, Kosav Moshe. Mikan vo elach kosav Yehoshua. Divrei Rabbi Yudiv Amar Lo Rabbi Nechemia. Oma Lo Rabbi Shimon. Efsher sefetere choser o is achas. Ve kosuv lo koyach a sefer a teira ze. The last eight psukim in the teira describes the death of Moshe Rabbeinu. Is it possible that Moshe writes about himself? Vayomus Moshe. Elo at kana kodesh borchu oimer u moishe oimer vekoisev. Mikan vo eiloch. This last ape sukim. A kodesh borchu oimer u moishe koisev bedema. Not getting involved right now. What is bedema? Does it mean with the tears? Or does it mean be a buvye like the terminology of the goyen? But this ape sukim shebetayre. That says, Vayomos Shamoshe. These are psukim that Moshe cannot write about himself on one hand. On the other hand, we cannot have a Sefer Torah when Moshe writes, Lekoyach a Sefer Torah Azeh, and the Sefer Torah is not complete, and Yeshua is writing it. Rabbi Sai, Reb Chaim Zecher Tzadik Livrocho used to have a minig to finish every single year Kol Atoyre Kulo. Shaz, Bavli, Yerushalmi, Safro, Sifri, Mechilte, Masech, Zdoilis, Ktanis, Allah, Midrashim, Chazal, and an heir of Pesach, they used to be the Sium Hagodel for Reb Chaim. Used to produce wine, and this wine was used as a miracle wine for so many Chaylim and Yeldois and people around the globe from this Mashk. But I have news for you. This was an irregular year. On the Ibriyar, since Reb Chaim's pace was eight blad a day, you only need to do 7.16 blad a day in order to finish us, but he did it a little faster. So Reb Chaim made the Siyu Mashas on every Ibriyar and Purim. The Siyu Hagodel for Reb Chaim and Kol Kula was done on the Ibriyar and Purim. And the month that he had extra time from Purim till he restarted again Shas on Erev Pesach, he used to every single year write a Sefer. Reb Chaim for the last 40 years wrote Sforim. Some of them were printed, some of them are imprint, some of them are halokim of different Sforim. But Reb Chaim made two days ago on Purim Siyum Kol Atay Rekulo. And he's starting 
and through Shem Purim, we started feeling bad and he couldn't have any more koiches, he started writing the Sefer. This Sefer will certainly be written. Not here, much better publication place, the Mesifte de Rikir. Efsher Sefetere Choser Vixiv Lokoyach Sefer Ateraze. There is not a person who is more epitome of knowing Kolatere Kula Kula Mamesh that came to the conclusion of his life by finishing Kolatere Kula night before he dies. Be'enai Chosisi, I was in Reb Chaim's house several years ago. He went to sleep, he had high temperature. And he had a dream. He used to get up in the middle of the night, he used to start to say it in the middle of the night. He had a dream that he's dying. And he jumped out of his bed. Anybody that knew the configuration where he slept, he jumped out of his bed. His whole body was shaking, and he was screaming, no, 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 until I said, dying. What was bothering him? Bothering him because the Rambam stayed high of Odom Laasik Betoyra Bechol Yoim Ad Yoim Moisei. And inasmuch that the dream is not Dvorim Betoyim, so it's possible today is the day I die. I didn't learn today. I have to learn before I die. Brengt mir shein ag mare hoyriyos. He was only in the middle of hoyriyos. Brengt mir shein ag mare hoyriyos. Ad yoyim moisei. This is high the yoyim moisei. Today I'm going to die. I need to learn. He finished kolatay rekula the night before he was nifter, and he's starting to write the sefer. I have no question in my mind that the sefer is inscribed be'eretz achaim. Al yadei hagoyen reb chaim moro de kulo talmud. But you know, I'm sure that in the next week, month, year, there will be hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands of meisus and moifsim from reb chaim. Every single person has his meisalach from reb chaim, and it's appreciated. But I think that if we want to do justice. If we want to really learn up the sugya, and that's going to give us a shtickle scope, who was Reb Chaim, and all the ways and everything will fall into place. In this limited time we have, let's learn the sugya called Teiras Chaim. You know, the Gemara Menaches that we brought, Moshe Koisev Bedema. Moshe could write with tears. There is writing of Torah with tears, and I'm sure that this Sefer, being that Reb Chaim is still Meisay Mutol of Father Kluve, he started writing, and right now, the writing is with tears. But I would like to start learning together with you tonight. Vosig Ivan Reb Chaim, who was Reb Chaim, and. How do you really, really learn up who was this giant, which is one in hundreds of years to have such a guy in Alea Domis? The Gemara in Ksubis in Davkuftale, the Hu Yomed and Nachnafshe de Rebbe, Gosru Rabonon Tanisu, Borachme Omru, Kolman de Oma Nachnafshe de Rebbe, Docker Becherev. Anybody who says Rebbe dies will be stabbed. Go take a look. He went upstairs and he saw the Rebbe died. He ripped, he tore his clothes. And he swapped around the front to the back so the kera, the tore, the tear should not be up front because they made a cherem. Call me Shiyomer, he doke bechevs of the Masho. He wanted to do it by Hechove. Posach ve Omar er Eilim u Metsukim ochzu be Arain a Kodesh. Nitzchu ar Eilim is a Metsukim ve Nishba Arain a Kodesh. What is Arain a Kodesh? This title of Arain a Kodesh is somewhat tumua, ambiguous. 
Gemara Megilli in Daf says that there was a person who had a ton of yilches as the frost, he freed the sefta the shochiv, osru le rab nachmen le aspude, omar heichin lispede, hait sane de mole safre de chosser, zucht rashi, eno la kessel, shimilus for him, ve eno in mevi in masha besoich. Frek de marcho, so it comes out to come alone and give a person a title that you're a vessel, you're a vehicle, you're a kli holding out so much tire. It's to a certain extent, Mr. Shtetik Mole Megila, it's a bizarre, it's not a it's not a compliment. So if you wanna say a Shvach Barebi, Mesadra Mishne, you say Nishba or in Akradesh, the or and the or in the box of the Oran Kodesh, his Nishba was taken, fugitive, you took the Chevy of Oran Kodesh. At the Levaya of the Chazenish, which took place in Tezvov Cheshven, Tovshin Yudalit, 68 years ago. There were Hespedim. And after they came back from the Hespedim, the Oilom was very, very, very tzibrach. The Talmidim amongst them used to be Rabbi Gedalia Nagel, Rabbi Yidl Breuer, Rabbi Chaim Greidemann, Rabbi Chaim Shol Karelitz, and Rabbi Chaim Kanievsky, who was at the time 26 years of age. They decided they're going to go up to Yerushalayim to the Briskerov and ask him, Vos Gateman told the Rebbe is avek. There's nobody like him. What are we going to do? A Megenumen taxi, a Megafon Yerushalayim, and they walked into the Briskerov to ask him this Chabura, what are we going to do? The Chazanish is avek. The world came to an end. The Biskirovat and Gizok Taze. God la door gate avek. We have a toche a tero le tishakach. Tayo is never going to be forgotten. We have a toche of a zora hashemish, ubo hashemish. Actually, shok hashemish, jose, zora hashemish, jose. I'm not worried about Tayo. Ob midav do ufstel ener, zozo zaina be male mokum for the chazanish. She says, I'm not worried about Taylor. I'm not worried about the generation. I'm not worried about G'dayli. But we need someone to take over the Chazinish. Veretos Iber Nemen. He says, Dos kentos nish Iber Nemen a Godel. Take over the Chazinish. A Godel cannot take it over. It has to be one of the Talmidim because the Tzura of Messiah of Tayyar was via a channel called Rav and Talmud. And he said as follows, Ich weiss gar nicht. This is words of the Briskerov, sitting over here, Brisker Bochem. So I'm Briskerov, I'm Stickel from Briskerov. Ich weiss gar nicht. No, ich gehört von der Babromishaye. I heard from Chazanish, zwei Wörter. Eine, as mein Heimke is more the Kuwa Talmud. My Heimke means you, my nephew Heim is more the Kuwa Talmud. He is the owner of the entire Kola Tere Kula. And zweitens, Halocha ke Moisei bechol mokoi. Any question to be asked, Halocha ke Moisei bechol mokoi. Ve'idach zil gmoir, said the Biskorov, conversation is over. So at the age of 26, you don't have to be a mathematical genius. This happened 68 years ago. Prime was nifter, Prime was 94 years. He was, his birthday was Tesvav Tevis. He became 94 years and three months. He was... Kam Zexen Zwanzig Yo Alta Jungeman. Could be in the freezer in Lakewood. Halocha Kemise Bechol Mokoim and Mora de Kula Talmudo. 
So we would like today to learn what is the what's the kavone of halacha kemoisa bechol mokim. What's the more the cool Talmud? And what did the Briskarov see to take the Gewaldike, Gewaldike, Breite Pleitzes from the Chazanish and park it on a youngster of 26 years of age? Let's go back to the Oren Kodesh. When the Briskarov was Nifter, six years later, Erev Yom Kippur, my Zayda Reb Zalman Sarotskin was masked with him by the Levi. And he said, why is Rebbe called Nishba Oroin HaKodesh? Why is Rebbe called Nishba Oroin HaKodesh? So he said as follows, a very unique word, and I would like to move to Reb Chaim. The word Oroin HaKodesh is not Stam Blois, Abitus Fasayim, some kind of a word, Psapsa Peril, Aloshain, Oroin HaKodesh. Beis HaMikdash is choluk in its Kedusha to different Madrigas. There's Azora, there's Heichel, there's Kedush HaKadoshim. And each one has a unique Matora and Bazundere Kalim for this specific place. Azora was Mizbech HaOilo. And somebody is Nichnas to the Azora Betume, is Chayv Chatos. The Heichel is a high Kedusha. You have the Shulchan, for the Lachim you have the Menorah for the Mor. You have the Mizbeach Hatzov for Ketayr Sasami. Somebody, the Koyan that walks in, even the Koyan that walks in for no purpose, is over and be reconnaissance. Koydesh HaKadoshim, the Kedusha is the highest Kedusha. No person can walk in ever besides the Koyan Godel, Pam Achas Pashon. What was in Yom Vosek Ishtanen in Koydesh HaKadoshim? There was the Oren with the Luchis and the Sefetayr, either Besaycho or Betzidoy, a Shaila in the Gemara in Baba Basr. But what was the purpose of putting the Oren Kodesh in the Kodesh HaKodosh? It's not to make the Hazov, the Dam, Apan, the Soya, Ben Abadim, the Horaya, that Bamik the Shani, there was no Oren and Luchis. And still, they used to make the hazards. So you don't need the Oren merely as a tziyun of Ben Abadim to make these hazards of Pav Esoy and Yom HaKippur. <coughs> what do you need a Sefetayr there? Nobody could read the Sefetayr. The only one that can read the Sefetayr theoretically merely will be the Kohen God. But the Kohen God used to walk in and the Anan Akteris was there. At Kedekach Shtet Yerushalmi Yume, he couldn't see anything. He was totally fablinded. So you can't read this over there. So why are you putting Oren and Luchos state v'hoyo Oren le'edus? Okay, you want to put the safe in the, in the most secure place. You put it in a place where a sefeteir, there is a sefeteir which is totally useless. Nobody could read in it. The Kohen Gadol cannot read in it. Nobody could use it for any purpose. And it's sitting there parked in Kedesh HaKadosh. Said Furthermore, every person in Kuala Yisrael has a mitzvah asset to write himself a sefeter. So now a mitzvah asset to write a sefeter. A person has his egg in a Torah. Ich can schreib my sefeter. And du can schreib your sefeter. You could write your sefer. You can write your sefer. This gives a certain independence of anyone and everyone to go ahead and make interpretation in his own Torah as his heart desire. And if you're going to come tell him, you know what? What are you talking about? I have a safe for my Zayda, for my Elta Zayda, for my Lijensk, for my Elta Zayda, 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 for my In order to have a 100% genuine authentication of what Sefer Torah, what is the Torah all about? Moshe Rabbeinu was instructed to take the Sefer Torah Shekos of Moshe and to park it there in Kodesh HaKadosh. And whenever there was some kind of ambiguous machlekes, and there was, the Tzdukim, the Zaifonim, everybody, the Gemara State in Masechus Midas, 
that they used to come and they changed around. They said the Torah is their Torah. They, they came along and they said that they added on some words. One, Omar Ab, Lozmar Ab Shimon, Maitel, the Safe Rekusim, Ziaftem, Toraschem, Shekataftem, Betzoraschem, Eitzel Aloinei, Moire, Shem. They added on a word. The Ziuf forging Taira was a malacha of the Kusim of the Shemroinim. Zerubovo, who was marching them, anybody knows from the call, who wanted to participate to come to build the Beis Hamikdash, he says, We cannot take people who have one iota of ziyuf. Rabbi had to deal <clears throat> with all these kitas, with the tzdukim, with the baitusim, pushing, all of them were kites which each one wanted to pull the Torah in his direction. So calls man bemis is not a lot of right Torah. Except vom shemal vom shemal piyat teroshel lekoisu. Eis lasas la Hashem efeinu terasecho. Rebbe was the one who perpetuated the Torah and wrote the Torah the way it should be. Lehoitzi milibon shaltzduk. The entire Torah shemal pei was written by Rebbe with this insight. Of understanding that Torah may be one day torn apart between one and another and impossible to go right. This was Rabbi. Nitzchu Areli Mesametsukim Venishba Aroina Kodesh. Rabbi was the Aroina Kodesh. What's the Aroina Kodesh? The authenticated Sefer Torah, which cannot be Mizuki. If you know, the Briskov used to say once, they asked him, Why are you chapping with the Agudas Israel? She chapped with the Mizrahi. I go to this role, they're pretty good. They're, they're very. She so said, when somebody canvas a check and he tries to forge the Chsime, we lent the Chsime is Emesa is Gresser de Ziuf. The closer the signature is to the original signature, the Ziuf is greater. Somebody just takes a check and scribbles. <laughs> so you can see you. Stop the patch. Or the aim of this probute not to make an Azayv is. I think that if we were to look at Reb Chaim with his scope, with his ideas, with his Omal with his insight, you know, it's not Moifsim, it's not, he's, he's stackless in every single iota. He's Akpada in Mitzvahs. And why did he take over from the Chazenish? Why was Reb Chaim elected to be Moro de Kulish Maitz? Why was he really taken with the Chazanish? I would like to add on as follows. You know, these Istalkas, the Talmud and the Rav, the very famous one, Elio Anovi, has a Talmud Elisha. Before Elio departs and goes away from this world, it says, Vayike Ovron Velio Amal Elisha El Elisha, Shal Maeseloch Beterem Elokach Meimoch. I'm asking one thing. Whatever you are, Navi, I want to get a double portion. So you How could you ask me to give you double the nevo? In tire oisi lukoch me itoch ye iloch. Cain, vim ein loi. If you were able to see me when I'm going, when I'm parting away from you, fine, you got the gift. If not, you didn't. We state the Chazal that the Emes Elisha got double. Elio was mechay one meis, Elisha was mechay shnei meisim because he was mechay also naamon and mitzuri choshev kemeis, and he was mechay too. Elisha was got a double portion. But what is this idea of imtire oisi lukach me'imoch? When I go up, you're going to see me? Fine. You get double portion. If not, not. I'd like to suggest this following. If you look at the Lashonis in this forum, you see when Elio tells Elisha, Sh'al ma'ese Beterem elokach me'imoch. 
There's a lotion me'imoch. In Pasuk Yud, when Elisha says, Ve'yino pishnayim beruchach ho'elai, Elio answers him, Im tireh oisi lukoch me'itoch. Not me'imoch, but me'itoch. In the beginning we talk about the Yistalkus, he's saying me'imoch. When later on, when he gives him to bestow this line of credit of nevuo, he says me'itoch. That's it as follows. There is a very basic, fundamental difference between me'itoch and me'imoch. And I would like to quote the guy in the Loshan Azov. On the mevuas of the Goyen, this is the Lashon HaGoyen, Ki yeish chiluk ben teva imo imo yu ben teva es itoi. Ki teva as im yoyre ashivui bedovar ahu de komayre pula shneem al kavona achas mamesh. Ve kol dovar shneem oisim ze adovar al kavona verotze in echot, ve gam ein echot nifal mechaveroi, shayach Lashon im. Ach teva as es itoi yoyre shem oisim ze adovar biyachat, אבל לא היה על כבונו אחס, ובליב רב אין לו שווים, שכל אחד יש לו כבונו אחרס בדובר ההוא. זו דגויין, לכתחילה היא סייז, איפה האנושים האלה בואו, לא ייתן לך אימהם! Don't go with the same thought! Don't go with the same common denominator! If you want to go eat them, just together with them, but you're going to be מבורך and they want to be מקלל, go ahead. Elio and Elisha were bound like Rebbe and Talmud in Ishgven Azah Matzah from Talmud and Rebbe of Elio and Elisha. The Kesher was merely not just the Kesher of a Talmud of a Rebbe. The Goyen, anybody who learns the Mishnah Seshel HaGoyen in the parish of Istalkus Elio from Elisha, there was a Pnimius Dike Tif Geval Dike Kesher between them. When it was Nisbasa to Elio that he has to go upstairs, he thought that the nituk is going to be a total, total separation. That he's not going to be anymore. He told them, "Beterem elokach meimoch, I am not going to be there anymore. We are becoming disconnected. This same school of thought, this same train of thought that we have together, I'm not going to be there together with you. No, it's not going to happen." But Elisha asked Pishnai Merucha, he says, Im tire oisi lukach meitoch. Iye loch asher loch. If the istalkus is going to be meimoch, the pnimi is dike, the machshavachas, then you can't get more than what you already had. But if the istalkus is only meitoch, Elio just sees the body goes up, means to say, Sinoch yiblib machas anish do. You could have Pishnaim Beruchi. If the Chazanish is around, Yankim Avinu Leimais, then you could get more than the Rebbe had. Reb Chaim was a, trying to lead a life of authentication of the Chazanish. And the word of the Chazanish was that Istakel Beraisa Ubor Alwin. It's mamesh faket. The entire world is based on the Torah. I'll get people used to come to Reb Chaim says, learn, and chob a problem does, learn, I have a, a nituach on the yad. People thought it was a joke. Learn your dime. I have a, a, this, I don't have a daughter. Learn, me masech shviz. He kept on telling people thought he was playing around with words. Reb Chaim, he gave him Torah. There's nothing, nothing by him by Torah. I told somebody in Shabbos, Mr. Moshe Reichman, at the time, was the wealthiest Jew, the biggest bounce stock in the world. Wealthiest Jew. Talk about when Reb Chaim took over right after the Stipe of Ptir, back 36 years ago. And everybody heard Reb Chaim Kanievsky, the great Segoi, and everybody was coming to see, and Reichman was giving money all over the place. He wanted to see the new wonder take me in. So he asked Reb Yerachmiel Boyer, who was the mayor of Bnei Brak, he says, please take me in. I want to see this man. So everybody says, I <laughs> what this is. So they made an appointment. He comes in. Prime middle of learning. He picks up the thing. He says, Rebbe, the Rebbe, face where this is. His name. Do, das is Reichman. 
He picks up his hands from the Gemara. Ata shaykhes mit reichman was a tarazigem de meiri afchulin? Nein, ich weiß nicht. Brauche Ratzlach. By Reb Chaim, anything which was not 100% Torah was nothing. It wasn't my sin. There was a Bokh in Panavish. Bedidi Avuvde, I was part of it years ago. A tame and a You were 30 years old. He went out with 100 Shiduchim. So nicht gegangen. He went to Rav Shach. He was crying. He says, I'm a tame in it. And by wounds, as far as she is a schwer, because you know, when my suk bif neyats moi. And I, he says to him, Ich can't, ani lo yechol asot shituch. So lo lech. Gain, you should He says, go to Reb Chaim. Chaim was young then. Tell him you want to make a chavrusa with him. Tell him you want to make a chavrusa with him. Every day, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. No, the Olam is going to hear your chavrusa from Reb Chaim. Your shares will be jacked up and you'll be grabbed in no time, you'll be snapped. Okay. Comes to Reb Chaim by Vesikim. He says, Rav Shach Shalach Oti, Yesh Li Baya, Ani Tzorich Shiduch, Ani Mechapes Chavruse. Reb Chaim Beseider. He says, Anachnu Lomdim Kol Yom, Achare Isha Vesikim, Arba Dapim, Vesrim Dakot. 20 minutes, we learn four plan every day after Vesikim. There's Shnei Tnoim. You have to prepare before you come to work with me. And second of all, a chavruse has a shlosh meot, a chavishim ve arba yamim beshanar, yam keeper, pesach, tishabo, and a chavrudim kolio. And ptu, and oines, and klo. In matamaskim, shalat hil machaba po. I went back to his friend, and friends told me that. So Mishuka, you know, I'm locking myself 354 days a year. Rosh Hashanah, keep your Pesach, Shavuot, Tisha Bov. Guy doesn't let go. Poor him doesn't let go. And I have to prepare the four blot to come. And instead, if he's letting in 20 minutes, four blot tells the four. He has to. I have to be fully prepared. He took three chavrus to learn 10 hours a day. He learned for a year and a half. They finished Shas one and a half times. He comes in the morning one day and he tells the Prime. After they finish learning, Arav, Ken, Magieli Mazaltov, Mazaltov, and in Yeti Hatan at Molbalaila. I just got engaged last night. Mazaltov. He says, and the engagement is tonight, but the Kala lives in some Moshav in the north, but she has a brother who lives Mamish two houses away from here, in the So I asked my Shver if we can make the engagement to Chaim here, and in Vakesh, in Arav, in Chol. Lavo will be like it must be a So Prime says, Bevadai, Bevadai, Rakta Gidli, Mashem Shulcha. Mashem Shulcha! Duch Kilad with a bocher, as far as a bocher didn't know from nowhere. A year and a half, Duch it on Shas on the Ram Zaiden. And now he's reminded to ask, he's going to the thing, he said, Madel to the Bokh, Vacha Bokh, Vosra Bokh. Ma Shem Shulcha! Barab Chaim Toyre wasn't a fashion. Barab Chaim Toyre wasn't a vocation. Barab Chaim wasn't a, Toyre wasn't an occupation. Barab Chaim was Toyre, only Toyre, but Toyre, and everything else from the world. Is gekommen a voice from sein Teure. All his moifs in here, as I'm moifes, as I'm moifes. You know, I have a yid. I have to say the story. I have a yid in Europe, 80, 17 years ago. Didn't have children. Was married for 23 years. He went to all the doctors in the world. He says, no, no, nothing doing. You're not having any children. He turned 50. He sold his business for a hefty profit. He came with his wife to Yisrael, and they bought a house in Rehov Yudan Nasi, next to Ramat Gad Bnei Brak, and he decided to go to adopt a child. See, before he goes to adopt a child, you know, he has to go through the process, he comes into a prime, he tells him, I'm going to adopt a child, and this and this and that. So he says to him, He says, I've been 
חמישים, חמישים ואחת, ואשתי גם בערך באותו גיל, היא עושה חמישים או חמישים ואחת, היא עושה חמישים עוד מעט, ואשתך חמישים או חמישים ואחת, קפטנסקי, היא עושה חמישים, ומי אמר שלא יכול להיות ילד, אומר רבי, I've been there, done that, I've run around the world, you know, it's not happening, I, I just want to broke her. למה שלא יהיה ילדים? ילדים? תבוא לקרוא אותי לפרי, תלך לפרופסור משיח, תגיד לו קניאבסקי שלח אותך. תגיד לו פרופסור משיח עם ביילסון, דוקטור, פטיליטי דוקטור, תגיד לו קניאבסקי שלח, תראו קניאבסקי סנט יו, ותבוא להזמין אותי לפרי. anyway, he goes back to Switzerland, he meets this guy that he sold the company to, this guy is a modern orthodox guy. It's not a, it's, he says, listen, I was with this rabbi, this guy, they say he's mamish. He says, listen, I'm the one who sent you 18 years ago to this huge doctor in America. The guy called me, I paid for the whole thing at the time when you needed toifer, and he told me, this woman cannot have children. So do me a favor, you know what? If you have a child from this uh, woman, I'm selling my business. And I'm coming to Eretz Yisrael to learn together with you. I dropped the whole business. I have 280 workers selling it. They're coming to work with you. A year later, the guy had twins. There was a bris. I wasn't in the bris, but I even the man from my coil went to the bris. This guy who, the boss, came over to Rebchaim after the bris. And he says, Rebbe, yesh li she'ela g'dola, yesh li she'ela g'dola. Ani yiftachti she'im yikre nes, ani yimkor ha-biznes. I'm going to sell the business and I'm going to go and I, uh, and I'm going to go where uh, I sit and learn. He says, b'chayim. I never ever work back to my words. We finished deals. Mazal bracha, a couple million dollars, just shake hands. What am I supposed to do? So Chaim tells him as follows. Legabe ane de, no. Pshalim tzor heter. Yes, I'm a sepoistchim b'neilad. Ober, ani choshev, mir shayt, he said it in Yiddish, but he translated to him, shekol ha-siba shelo haya la-isha hazot yeladim, 28 shana, ze shata t'inkor et ha-esek, ve t'avo l'ashevet l'mod Torah po b'pnei brak. Siba mir ha-dov ho-poshet. You know, you can look at it, it's nishke no mal ezach, but Reb Chaim was his stackel b'oraise u'bora alma. He himself made leitzonas from all the moifsi. He himself. There was just now recently a story. I'll tell you a story, and I'm going to finish up with this story. A woman from the United Kingdom, from a woman, came in and said, she sent her son to come to her sister to please go to Reb Chaim. And she says like this, I am a Holocaust victim. I was twice in Auschwitz. I was mamish, touch and go with Malach Amovis. And I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. I said vidui four times. I one night decided, I'm going to follow Zachan, Rebbe Nishelem, what am I standing to lose? And there was one tefillah that I knew by heart. Habeit mishamayim uroeh, kiyoyinu lag, vokelos bagoyim, nechshavnu katsoyim latevach yuvo laharoid, ולאבד ולמקו ולחייר פה, ובכל זה אישים חולי שכחנו, נו אל תשכחם. He said, איך יגזוק תתה, בכל זה איש, I see everybody, all my, my, everybody is killed around me, אל תשכחם. ודאי בשביל יאופן הקריך תת. He says, I'm old woman today, I'm going to die, I'm sick, I was diagnosed. I would like to take this posuk with me, and bury with me this posuk. ובכל זוהי שמחו לא ישכחנו, אל תשכחי. אבל היא שואלת אל רבי בלונדון, והיא שאלת אם זה פרמיסיבל לעשות או לא. היא אומרת, היא אף מביס, אף מפרק. אז רב חיים רדווי פולד את התנ״ך, הוא הלך לשלושה או ארבעה מקומות, סימילר, פסוקים לדלושון, ובכל זוהי שמחו לא ישכחנו. היא אומרת, זה הפוסק, זה השי אלפים ביזויים. אבל זה נשכים פוסק, כמן דסריים להם. אבל היא אומרת, Kens te zogen de mame, he told the son, he could tell the mame that the ebesh te daf nishom kin zetlach. The ebesh te daf nishom, a Kaddish Baruch Hu doesn't need any small zetlach. Rebbe Eleman, I don't know if everybody knows him, was sitting there 
And he said, but he said, but so much the Freud, it's a surprise and a Freud. They will do so, but they can't possibly in Tanakh let her bury it with her. He asked them that Reb Chatzko Abramsky knew his nifter. He said he wants to take with him all the Chazon Yecheskel. I was better Levaya. We were carrying this for him. Chazon Yecheskel. He says, Ashre Misha Bola Kambe Talmud Beyode. I came to tell Reb Shach the story. He says, Venich Chol Venich Geish Talmud. Ich will nicht, dass er mir nehmen darf, Jezri. Und alle Zettel, die ich gewillt habe, sind gegen mir. Für 